Alright, today we're going to solve this problem by clearing fractions. So, the first thing I need to do is make sure I have fractions, which I do, two-thirds, one-fourth. I'm going to go ahead and make this minus one a fraction as well, by putting it over one. You can always make an integer a fraction by putting it over a one. So now I have the denominators three, one, and four. I need to find the least common denominator, or the LCD. Now if you don't know what it is, which this one is 12, you can always find it by counting. So for example, if we start counting by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Same thing with ones, one, two, three, four. Okay, we can keep going. And then with fours, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. Now we're looking for the least common denominator. That would be the smallest number that they all go into. So notice, these two have a three in common, but this one doesn't have a three. These two have a four in common, but this one doesn't have a four. So the smallest number that they all have in common is arc 12. And that's where I got my LCD, 12. Now the reason this is important is because we're going to use this LCD of 12, and we're going to multiply every single number by 12. So this first number, I'm going to multiply by 12. I'm going to multiply this 1 by 12, and this 1 fourth by 12. So 12 times 2 thirds is going to give us 8x. 12 times negative 1 there is going to give us minus 12. And then 12 times 1 fourth is 3. Now notice I'm doing 12 times 1 fourth, not just 12 times 1. It's 12 times the entire fraction. Okay, so now this is a much simpler problem to solve. They're all integers. All we have to do is add 12 to both sides. So 8x equals 15. And then divide by 8. So x equals 15 over 8. Okay, because we started with fractions, we want to end with fractions. You can also write this fraction as 1 and 7 eighths. However, this first fraction, the improper fraction, works just fine. Okay, so there's number one. Let's look at another one. So number two. This time we do have all fractions. And I, my denominators are 5, 10, and 30. So I need to find my LCD. Okay, 5, 10, and 30, I know the smallest number they all go into is 30. Once again, if you're unsure, start counting. 5, 10, 15, 15. Okay. Now, those have a 10 in common, but there's no 10 here. So the number we're looking for, the smallest number they all have in common, is that 30. So that's why I'm multiplying everything by 30. So I'm going to take this negative 1 fifth and multiply it by 30. This 1 tenth and multiply it by 30. And this 1 third and multiply it by 30. So 30 times negative 1 fifth is negative 6 x, don't forget our x, minus 30 times 1 tenth is 3, and 30 times 1 third is 10. So, add 3 to both sides, negative 6x equals 13, divide by negative 6. So x equals negative 13 over 6, remember improper fractions are okay, if you have to have a mixed number, it's negative two and one sixth. Okay, just a reminder, if you want to check your answers, which you can and you should with an equation, you need to always check back in the original. Never check here, because if you made a mistake down here, that mistake will carry through at the end and you'll think you got it right. Always check back at the top. 